Hi friends, it's more Brachi here. Today, we're going to learn all about the Parsha. So, what's this week's Parsha? This week's Parsha is Parsha's Nasai. Should we sing the song? Let's sing it together. The Parsha of the week is Na'asai, Na'asai, Na'asai. The Parsha of the week is Na'asai, Na'asai is the Parsha of the week. Amazing! Okay, friends, what? Wow. In this week's Parsha, who remembers last time we spoke about all about where all of the Yidin camped, where they all settled down? Well, we learned about a couple of different things in this week's Parsha, but we start off by talking about the Levian. Who remembers the Levian? The Levian were the ones who camped around the Mishkan. This was our Mishkan, remember? And they camped around it. Who remembers why they camped around the Mishkan? That was because when they had to get up and travel, all of the Yidin, um, all, all of the Levim, they carried what was inside the Mishkan. They carried the Mishkan. They took it apart and they carried the pieces of the Mishkan and what was inside it, right? Like the Mizbeach, the Aron. <gasps> you see? Our Aron Kodesh. They carried all those special things. And in this week's Parsha, Hashem finished to count them. And do you know how many Levim there were? Hashem counted them from the ages 30 years old to 50 years old. That's because from 30 years old to 50 years old, they were the strongest. And they were able to carry the Mishkan. So do you know how many there were? Well, guess what? There were 8,580 men. That's how many there were. That's so many, right? Well, that's one of the things we learned in this week's Parsha. But another big thing we learn about in this week's Parsha is about a Nazir. Do you know what a Nazir is? Well, let me tell you. A Nazir is a man who dedicate, dedicates him, his life to, to Hashem. Well, you can also have a woman and a Zira, but now we're talking about a man who is a Nazir, and he dedicates his life all to Hashem. And look, wow, look at that long, long hair. Do you want to know why he has such long hair? Oh my goodness, that's so long. That's because he's not, he's not allowed to cut his hair. Right? Remember during Sphira time? We were not allowed to cut our hair, right? And now our hair got so long. Well, guess what? A Nazir is not only not allowed to cut his hair for a short amount of time, but for his whole life that he is a Nazir for, as long as he is a Nazir, he has to keep his hair so long and he can't cut it. What else is he not allowed to do? He is not allowed to drink wine. He's not allowed to drink wine, eat grapes, because he's not allowed to get drunk. And he can't have, right, all those things. He can have wine. And you know what else he can't have? You know what else he can't do? He can't visit people or come close to someone who passed away. He has to make sure he doesn't become impure. He doesn't become tummy. Because when someone visits someone who passed away or comes close to them, they become tummy. And they have to become pure after, right? Well, he can't do that. He has to stay pure the whole time. And that's that's something very special about a Nazir. And he makes sure that he dedicates his whole life to Hashem and Dalvin's to Hashem and does everything for Hashem as long as he's a Nazir. And that's something really interesting we learned about, about Anazir. Do you want to know what else we learned in this week's Parsha? We learned about how Aaron, Aaron Mesha's brother Aaron, and his children, they learned how to bless the Yidin. They did it in a special way with their hands. And they learned how to bless the Yidin and how to place their hands. And that is something really special we learned. And those are some of the really interesting things
things we learn in this week's Parsha. And I hope to see you next time, friends. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.